Wow, that was... <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even know how to... What's up, my nuggets? That's how I start my commentaries. I remember now. What's up, my nuggets? I'm leaving that that whole clearing my throat part in because I already started the video and I don't want to go through resyncing the audio because that's just that's just not that big of a hassle but you know what I'm just gonna go with it um how's it going what's up nuggets it's been a while it's just been a while since I've done a commentary and oh look I just spawned and I had dogs and a helicopter and a spy plane I don't know what's going on it's got to be some kind of hack I'll put up a tutorial for it later just kidding uh, don't you know accuse me of hacking because you're not you know that's that's bad and um, but you know sometimes I just get a little good graces from uh, Treyarch they just give me some kill streaks when I spawn because they know I make videos and it helps me because in all reality I'm not that good of a player they just kind of give me oh I'll claim more awesome okay anyways I was sitting at my kitchen table and I was eating chicken wings um, just in case you were wondering shout out to my um, man, chicken wing, my cousin, he's a uh, chicken wing, just in case. Okay, anyways, um, I was eating a chicken, I was eating more than one chicken wing, and I was also drinking milk out of an orange cup, and if you don't get that reference, then you probably won't understand why I felt the need to do a commentary, but if you did get that reference, uh, go ahead and give yourself a smiley face sticker, one that you can scratch off and it smells nice. Um, yeah, give yourself, you know, one or two of those, depending on if you're the first or last person to get the uh, sheet of stickers because you want to save some for everyone else. Look at that guy. He thought he was thought he could just leave the level, just exit exit through the the doorway on the left, please. But anyways, guys, um, how's it going? I feel like I've said that a lot, but it's, it's it really has been a while. I mean, of course I've been posting content on my channel, but it's been all stuff that I've done in the past. Get knifed, buddy. I feel like I'm I'm awkwardly energized for this commentary, which is kind of weird, but you know. We'll just go for it, and I still have another helicopter just waiting. Um, as you'll probably know by now, I did cut out the first round, um, because all in all, this this was a 15-minute commentary, and as much as you guys would probably love to hear me just jibber-jabber on about absolutely nothing for 15 minutes, um, I felt it kind of impossible. And, you know, I say that now, but I'll probably end up going over the time limit on this 10-minute video anyways, but... You know, we'll see where it takes us. I was watching the State of the Union the other day. Uh, I think it was, you know, two or three days ago because I wanted a good laugh. No, I'm just kidding. President Obama is awesome and yada yada. But anyways, I was watching the State of the Union and I noticed that, you know, everyone just loves to clap at the State of the Union. Like, everyone just sitting there, all them congressmen and congresswomen, they just they just really love a good clap. They, they must put, like, lots of lotion on their hands you know so their hands don't hurt when they clap a lot I don't know I don't really know if that makes a whole lot of sense but you know they must have really tough hands their, their hands must be really callousy if they don't put lotion on it that's all I'm saying because you know the president would speak for like maybe 20 seconds and he'd say something you know like truly presidential and inspirational and all that jazz and then all of a sudden you just get like five minutes of clapping and everyone and, and it would be like a standing ovation for every every single point that he made it's like you know some little Japanese kid who trains his piano lessons for like five years only dreams of a standing ovation like that and, and you're giving the president one like every 20 seconds it just doesn't seem fair to me but it also gave me the idea that you know maybe I should get like a soundboard where there's like an audience clapping and everything and then I could, when I when I like ran out of things to say, instead of having like an awkward pause, I could just do the applause, and then I could make my videos like an hour long, and it would really be me only talking for like 10 minutes, and the rest would be applause. So if you guys think that would be a good idea, just go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments section, and we'll, we'll we'll just take it from there. I don't know if I can find applauses for that long of period, but um, yeah. Anyways. There's a reason I chose this video, because there's a reason I choose all my videos. Most of the time it's because they're pretty decent, but this one, I would like to just go back and reflect on my latest Phantasm moment, my uh, most recent one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what a Phantasm moment is, then blah, blah. yeah, I just made up a sound word. Um, sorry, just forgive me for all this, all this energy that's coming out. It's just been a while since I've spit my stuff on the mic, so I'm just trying to loosen up a little bit and uh, stretch out those, these jugulars of mine. So anyways, um, I'll put the link in the description if you haven't seen it, so go check that out. 
Um, but anyways, I was I was playing Capture the Flag, and when I watched it, I watched it afterwards, and it was kind of weird. Like, have you ever done something, and then after everyone has seen it, and it's just out in the public, you're like, oh, wow, that actually kind of looks kind of bad. But um, it, I, I don't know. It didn't look bad. It was just taken out of context. It could be misinterpreted. And what it was was basically me was was. That's interesting. But... Um, it was me with the flag and just running around and just killing people in their spawn. And I wasn't capturing the flag, which, you know, despite the name of the game mode, you're not actually supposed to capture the flag. No, you are. And I wasn't. And um, the, the reason I did that was for two reasons. First reason, um, it was the second round. And if you would have seen the first round, you would have, you know, realized that these guys either had all their appendages just amputated sometime in their life or they were bl playing blindfolded or... So one of those two, or maybe their grandmother was making them cookies and they were just trying to eat the cookies. And, you know, that's another thing. This guy is sp supposedly carrying a flag. Like, I'm pretty sure they, like, shove it in the back of their pants, which I don't know how they do that so fast. They just, like, walk over it and it gets shoved in there. But, you know, how can you still run and maneuver just as well with the flag as you could without the flag? Like, I know, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm not a big Halo guy, but in Halo Reach you have to, like, carry the flag, right? You, you're And you're like disabled I'm pretty sure if they implemented that in Call of Duty it would be more realistic but that's just me I guess these guys are black ops soldiers so they're trained to carry the flag that's probably a good trait to have like you know when you sign up to be a black op I don't know if you sign up to but when they come to your house late at night and recruit you to be a black op they're like and how are your flag carrying skills can you stick it in your belt well and just keep running with it and you know still two hand a weapon and they're like yes and they're like alright that's that's the one thing on our checklist to be a black ops that we were wondering about um, right next to, you know, cooking a grenade for the right amount of time. So you're in, buddy. And then you get to be a black op. But anyways, there, oh my gosh, there was so much crap I wanted to talk about in this commentary and I'm probably not going to get through it all. But, oh, okay, so I was talking about the phantasm moment. Yeah, I like to carry the flag around and kill people because as you'll see right now, um, well, after more people join because some people get frustrated when... You know, and everyone's telling me like, "Come on, dude, cap the flag, cap the flag." Ever since I grabbed the flag, and then I just, I just come here and I'm just chill, and I'm like, "What do I do?" Like I was, I was acting completely retarded, and they just, I don't know. Luckily, they had, uh, they were good sports about it, but I'm pretty sure it's because we were up, and we were annihilating this team because I just kept looking at them, and they're like, "Dude, yeah, just step on the flag and you'll cap." They were trying to like give me tutorials, like, "This is how you play capture the flag." Like I didn't know, but I thought that was kind of funny, and then I just keep going on and. I go on a nice little tear. I'm pretty sure this is my longest kill streak um, ever in Black Ops. And kill streaks go by guns, gun kills only, not dogs or chopper or anything like that. So I think it was like 37 or something like that. I'm not completely sure. Um, but anyways, yeah, I like because you get 200 points a kill. Like you can't beat that. I mean, I'm sure there's probably a faster way to level up, but this is just more of a. If I'm playing by myself. I can, you know, I can usually sway a game of Capture the Flag um, towards my favor, unless my entire team is just non-existent. But, and then I'll just, you know, get the last flag and run around and do this. And, um, so yeah, that Phantasm moment might have been taken, you know, the wrong way by some of you. But I just kind of wanted to clear the air, even though I didn't really, you know, feel the need to. I just thought it was, you know, kind of a fitting video for considering my last Phantasm moment post. But um, anyways, I'm pretty sure that's all I had to say about Capture the Flag and the State of the Union address, which wasn't even supposed to be brought up in this commentary. But um, the last thing that I wanted to bring up for you guys was um, Kid Laser. And if you don't know Kid, who Kid Laser is, then well, I'm just going to I'm just going to assume that everyone knows who Kid Laser is, or else that would just really break my heart. He's like my dearest, dearest friend, and um, you know you probably know him from half the videos that are on my channel. Um, and the Super Phantasbro series. He is Luigi, and um, I don't. I feel like I don't need to introduce him anymore because normally I introduce him and he's here, and now it's just making me sad because he's not here. And now this is just starting to sound really dramatic and girly. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and give him a shout out because he does have a channel, and people have been asking about you know, uh, Fanta Phantasmo does Laser have a channel? And yes, he does. Um, one thing though, he doesn't post gameplay, so if you're looking for gameplay and Laser at the same time, that guy was just stuck in stuck in time just frozen in in the solid state in the cryogenic freeze and i would pick up that gun and die but anyways this is probably getting close to the end then since i died but um 
yeah, he has a channel. He does all like you know real life videos. He uh, and they're and they're absolutely hilarious. Every single one of them, I've, I've watched all of them multiple times. So go check out his channel. Um, I will put the link in the description as well as since I'm bound to talk over, I'll just put it at, at the end screen of this. And uh, go check out his channel. And you know, don't tell him that I sent you because I I think it's so weird when I get a bunch of comments like, oh, so and so sent me. Just I just want you to go over to his channel and. Um, Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go over to his channel and be like, so-and-so sent me, but the so-and-so you have to replace with like a porn star name, like like Rick the Stick Johnson or something like that. Like Rick the Stick Johnson sent me from Triple X Movies Anonymous or something like that. Just make up just make up some random identity, some random person who sent you from some random place and just put that on his channel. So yeah, let's just do that because that would be well, that would be so much funnier than oh, Mr. Phantasmo sent me. Obviously, um, it would it, you, clearly you guys can see the page that I'm coming from. If not, just turn to page five and click the button for the sound effect. So that's all I got to say. Go check out his channel. He's freaking hilarious. Every single video he posts is just is just utter hilarity. So um, other than that, I'm pretty sure that's a good note to end on. So. Until next time, peace nuggets.